News Pinpoint Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. And the time is 645 on your Tuesday morning and August 1st. Happy August 1st, everyone. Uh, it looks like things are a lot more quiet on our satellite radar composite than yesterday. Our picture yesterday was just lit up with lightning strikes. It looks like for the most part we are dry, especially for the eastern portion where we saw the most activity. It looks like we're continuing to see uh, scattered showers in the northwest quadrant of the county. So right along the five, right between that border between Riverside and San Diego County. So just keep that in mind. Maybe at least some time for travel if you're headed either north or southbound near the Camp Pendleton area. Here's a live picture right now from Coronado POEs looking towards downtown San Diego. Temperatures are already warm and it's not even 7 a.m. But we're already at 71 degrees in downtown San Diego. Elsewhere, we're tracking a lot of low 70s across the board, including in Oceanside, Carlsbad, already 70 degrees in El Cajon and in National City and 68 degrees in Alpine. Dew point temperatures are also in the mid to upper 60s, meaning that it is already feeling sticky out. So here's a quick look at the rain cloud future cast. Despite being dry, we still run the chance for isolated thunderstorms, mainly confined to the mountains and deserts later on this afternoon around 1:30. This afternoon is when it'll likely be the most active. And then as we fast forward to about 6, 730 towards those sunset hours, it looks like for the most part we dry out and we'll stay dry through the remainder of the week all the way into next week. So it looks like monsoon and moisture will certainly head out the door and flush out. Looking ahead, we have this high pressure. So this is what kind of tapped into some of that monsoonal moisture. It's going to move a little east weekend and that's going to allow for cooler, drier air and more of that onshore flow. So looking ahead to tomorrow and the second half of the week, we're going to be fairly comfortable, but take advantage because we do have warming on the way beginning this weekend. If you're headed towards Petco Park this Friday, it's going to be a pretty nice one. Padres will be uh, playing against the Dodgers. Always a good fun rivalry. Boo Dodgers uh, will be in the mid to upper 70s in the afternoon around the gas lamp area. And then once we get towards the end of the game, we'll be in the 60s. So as I mentioned, we'll be well below normal at least through Friday. And then temperatures ri rise right back up close to 80 degrees by the latter part of the weekend. Inland areas will be in the mid to upper 80s. It looks like Thursday will be one of the coolest days across our inland neighborhoods. I'm forecasting low 80s for areas like Escondido, El Cajon. Meanwhile, Ramona will be one of our warmer spots close to 90 degrees and Valley Center even gets a little bit of a cool down in the mid 80s. We climb right back up to the 90s this weekend with high pressure restrengthening. Mountain areas will be in the low 80s. As I mentioned, it'll be mostly dry today, but we do run the chance for isolated thunderstorms. It looks like the best chances will be around the 1 2 p.m. as I mentioned, and then as we get towards 3 4 5 p.m. things dry out. Showers taper off. Overnight lows will go from the low 60s to the 50s, so everyone, including the mountain areas will even see a drop off in temperatures to the low 80s and that'll put us about 10 15 degrees below our 30 year normal. The desert areas will also see temperatures drop down to the low hundreds warming right back up on Friday. Excessive heat returning this weekend. Jared. A new lawsuit accuses Taco Bell of false advertising on some of its menu items. The complaint filed by a New York man says the chain's Mexican pizzas and Crunchwrap Supremes